workplace. We love that. Receiving honor from men. We don't do things to receive honor from God. Hallelujah. Number five. Ignoring Jesus' word. When Jesus said go and seek you first the kingdom of God. No, we, we take that very lightly. When Jesus said, come unto me, all of you are tired of carrying heavy load. No, we go elsewhere. We go to the money lender. We call our auntie and our uncle. We call people that we know. Why? Because we, we ignore the word of Jesus. He said, I come to give life and life abundantly. We don't believe that. Hallelujah. Imagine where we share, where we fellowship. We never talk about Jesus most of the time. Sometimes when I'm with Taltal Gase or with some uh, friends or relatives, the Holy Spirit will remind me, if anything you people talk about, talk about me and the kingdom. Some of my friends, some of my workmates, some of my colleagues, we normally talk about rugby. We all know about rugby. Yeah? And the Holy Spirit will remind me. Yeah, enough talking about rugby. Enough talking about work. What about you talk about me? Hallelujah. Ignoring Jesus' word. Number six, disconnect from God. Most of the time we go to church, but we are disconnected from God. How do you know that you are connected to God? How do we know that this light connects to the power? How do we know? Because of the light. They can be connected, but when there is no power, and there will be no light. We can go to church. I can be an Kaselevu. I can be a Taltala. People respect me and people honor me because I'm a tal -tal, but I can be disconnected to God because I'm not praying. I don't go out into my quiet time. Ten mistakes. Before I continue to share, I will tell us this afternoon, every one of us, including me, all these mistakes, we do it nearly every day. Hallelujah. Until the Holy Spirit will not. Eh? The Holy Spirit will remind us. Oh, oh, sorry. And then we go back to the Bible and start to read. And we start to pray. Oh, Lord, uh, thank you for today. Thank you for my family. Uh, thank you for the food on the table. Thank you for the clothes on my back. After a while, we disconnect again. After a while, we slow about the ministry. I'm very happy that some senior pastors, when they heard about... Uh, my teaching two weeks ago and again last Monday, they went out and uh, start to give checks because most of them, they stay around shopping centers uh, areas. That means we are talking about connecting to God. How do we connect to God? By doing his work. You can only tell that somebody connect to the brother or connected to a family or connect to the father or connected to the wife or connect to the uh, to the husband because they doing what they say that means we are connected to the person that is speaking to us we know that we are connected to god because we are doing what god said to us when we are not doing his word that means it's a sign that we are disconnected from god so this afternoon check again my friend if you are total gas in the methodist church total gas in any pentecostal total gas in the New Methodist Christian Fellowship, then we must connect back to God. Don't allow the disconnect because you will be in darkness. When you disconnect from God, that means you are disconnected from His Word, from His presence, from His power, from His will, from His purpose. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, Number seven, bearing few fruits. You know, sometimes when we come to church and we receive blessing, you know, Receive blessing. We thought that is enough. No. Working with God is about abundance. Yeah. Are you yeah. receiving are you receiving blessing? No, that's not that's not it. It's not there yet. Working with God is from glory to glory. From level to level. If you are blessed yesterday, you'll be blessed again today. Wait about tomorrow. What about next week? That's the God that we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His blessings continue to increase because that is his heart to bless us, to make us in abundance, 
so we become a vessel of blessing people.